Good evening everyone, welcome to LFC Red Forever channel. I uh, just want to discuss last night's game versus Genk. Um, I felt we played really well, but you know, like our defensive is suspect at times, uh, especially when Lovron is uh, playing there. Uh, I know Milner has played there as well yesterday, but I think he's done alright. Um, but the there's certain times when, um, unfortunately, when Lovron plays, we, we look at weak, very, very weak. And uh, maybe it's his lack of pace or he has the tendency of making mistakes. But <clears throat> that's Lovron. We can't, uh, when he plays, we can't say anything else. He's going to make a mistake no matter what happens in the games. Okay, let's put that aside. Let's talk about Oxlade. Oxlade played really well yesterday, I thought. Um, he's different to the midfield we've got. He's got like pace, power, shooting from the outside, which we missed uh, last season and the season before when he, before he, uh, <clears throat> after he got injured. Um, but um, I, I thought he played really well. Nice two goals. I hope this does, that's a start for this season um, for him to like get more game time and and win us some games. Um, I, as well as like uh, we haven't got like a lot of um, set piece takers, but it looks like he's he's doing that now. And um, as for KT, he's struggling a bit. But then again, this is his first game back uh, in the Champions League, which is different kind of football to the football he plays in the English game. Uh, I just hope. I hope. Because I've got this little bit of inside me that thinking um, maybe he's not as good as we all thought he is. Um, I hope I'm wrong. I, I really, really, really hope I'm wrong because there's a player in there. He has been named uh, the best player in German, German football before we bought him. So let's just hope he gets back to that standard instead of like what we're watching. He's struggling a bit. He can't run. Can't chase players back, um, but I'm sure. I'm sure um, Klopp is gonna try getting to the standards of the rest of the team. Ah, uh, okay. Um, let's just discuss uh, also the main United game. I know it's gone uh, a few days, if like a few days ago, but the referee just really, really, really pissed me right off. I think Martin Atkinson is one of the worst referees to referee Liverpool games. <clears throat> I remember last season um, versus um, Leicester, uh, night game, it's, uh, it's an icy, icy pitch, very, very cold, as I remember. Um, we, uh, we mainly got through through on goal and um, Maguire brought him down because obviously Maguire, the £80 million pound defender, can't catch players. So he brought him down and there was no one covering. What happened? He got a yellow card, we just got a free kick. I thought like if someone gets through on goal and, and someone brings them down and there's no one covering behind us, a straight red. There you go, Martin Atkinson again. So as the game went on, um, KT went through on goal, uh, one on one with the keeper, just about to shoot. Guess what happened? A player has brought him down. Did we get a penalty for it? No. So as the game continued, I kind of knew we weren't going to get anything from that game. So it finished, it ended up a draw, one one, and you know the guy who brought Mane down, Maguire, scored the other goal. Um, as as you. As everyone remembers. Alright, so let's discuss the main United game. 20 minutes into the game, as I remember, um, I can't remember any free kicks given to us because the game was going. All I remember is May United continuously getting free kicks and Martin Atkinson not giving us any, which is strange. You know what I mean? I thought the referee is supposed to be neutral, like, goes both ways. So, um, uh, they, they scored a goal from that. Um, and Lindelof, Lindelof um, brought down uh, Origi from behind. I thought challenge from behind is always a free kick if someone comes through from behind. Well, as soon as uh, they got the ball back, they went at, at the other end. Our defending was appalling anyway, um, and Rashford scored. 
And uh, a few minutes later, I think, um, I don't know if it's um, Van Dyke, someone put through uh, money. Uh, he controlled it. Uh, Lindelof was like on the back of him, holding him down. And then uh, it hit his arm. I understand if it hits your arm, it's an actual um, uh, free kick to the other team if you're an attacker. But what about the actions before before um, the ball touching and Mane's arm? What, where, where was that? Where was the referee in that one? I mean, if you're looking back, uh, reviewing the, the, the footage, why isn't anyone looking at um, Lindelof uh, holding down Mane before he scored that goal? It was just like throughout the game, it looked suspect. Uh, the, the whole thing was like suspicious, in my opinion. We was never going to win that game, no matter what we do. Uh, luckily, we got a draw out of it, which I was happy about. Um, at the end of the day, form or not form, uh, no form with Man United uh, is a rival. The, the biggest rivals we, we ever had, uh, ever. So um, they're going to they're gonna wake up for that game, no matter what we do, in a way. But I just hope in the future, um, Mr. Klopp, um, our manager, finds a way of playing differently in Old Trafford because uh, I think that's three or four and we still haven't won there. Uh, I'm including the UEFA Cup, the 1-1 one -one draw when uh, Coutinho scored and uh, Martial scored a penalty. Yeah, I think we've got to just change our ways for those games. I just hope uh, Klopp finds a way in the future. Uh, but that's that with that game. Let's just discuss the upcoming game, Tottenham. Um, they, I think they won 5 0 in the last game at home. Um, everybody thinks like uh, they're, they're off form. I just hope we don't start thinking like that as well because it's still a dangerous team with like Harry Kane, Dele Ali, and Co. Um, I think they're still a dangerous team. We can't, we can't take it easy on them. That's the last thing we've got to do. Like, just like the main United game, thinking differently of the team we're facing. Uh, we've got to win it. We've got to get as much as points as possible. Because um, City is still a dangerous team, no matter what we do. I know City, if they go to Old Trafford, they're going to batter them. Batter Man United, as they always do. Uh, we can't rely on anyone else. We've got to rely on ourselves. Um, we've, got to, we've got to get as much as points as possible. And plus, uh, next month, uh, we've got to beat them. We've got no choice. It's no more goal difference anymore. It's head to head as well. So um, let's just beat them at home. Probably draw away at uh, this, uh, uh, the empty head. And uh, maybe we'll, we'll clinch it there. You never know. I mean, like the old days, you might clinch it in, on your rival's turf. So please, please, please um, subscribe and like this page. And I'll get some more videos out. Thank you very much. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.